what's going on everybody we are back here today we're going to be taking a look at my account uh it has been uh quite a journey we are going to be hitting a pretty uh monumentous milestone here we've got uh, 1019 login days right now so technically it's not 120 just yet but i figured i would just do the video early on so that way you guys can see that uh we're just one day off there but you guys can have a look at my account tour and uh have a look at what it looks like to have uh you know that many days logged into the game and uh, we'll jump into my profile here first. So uh, that's my name, uh, strongest team power, collection power, uh, all that good stuff. I just reached eight mil. Uh, strongest team kept power could be a bit higher. Uh, I'm thinking with ISO eight now, once you get them into uh, level one, twos and threes, uh, you can add quite a bit of punch to each character. So that's gonna add up quite a bit. But other than that, uh, you guys will see there arena ranks uh, and then blitzing. And then, um, yeah, lots of Blitz wins. Uh, I'm a crazy Blitzer. I think the last one we had the uh, Bright Persona one, and I actually ranked pretty high up there. I was just getting a little, I was just trying to see if, uh, you know, see how far I can push, and uh, it, it ended up doing pretty good. Uh, I wasn't expecting top five. I was just trying to make sure I don't miss out on the uh, four star unlock on uh on her so that's what i was doing there but anyhow that's uh, enough of that we'll take a look at the account here and now before i begin uh you know just for the naysayers and all the guys that are always looking at my roster and telling me hey uh no way uh this is a free to play account so we're gonna just quickly jump into my itunes here and uh give me two seconds here we're gonna just quickly get out of there jump into safari so we can take a look at the app purchases and uh, from this on point on, you can basically have a look at what you've downloaded and all that good stuff in the last few uh, last few days. And you guys will see that's just zero dollars. That's just, just for September. We're going to go into, uh, so you can look into 2019, 2018, 2017, all that good stuff. But we're going we're gonna to actually jump into 2017 because that's when I started playing the game. So we'll jump into there. And I believe it was in September. And as I'm scrolling through this, you guys will see that, you know, it's pretty much zero on the uh, purchases because uh, most of the stuff I usually download is free. And I did, you know, I'm not perfect. I, I did make a few purchases in other games, but with uh, with Marvel Strike Force. Oh, did I pass it now? I might have just passed it. It was right at the top. Maybe let's go back up here. I might have been a little bit a little bit overzealous uh, and uh, where are we? Where are we? December, December, November. I think it was December. Hold on here. I've got to find my bearings here. Sorry, guys. Um, oh, here we go. Uh, December 18th, Marvel Strike Force. So now it's obviously not Fox Next anymore and it's Scopely. But there you guys have it. That's when I first downloaded the game. And uh, now we will just jump into... Uh, we'll just jump back into the, uh, the dates here. Where did I go? Purchase history and uh last 90 days so we'll just jump into a random year here uh we'll just stick with 2018 because that's uh you know the year right after but as you guys will see here i'm gonna scroll down and i believe i did make a few purchases on other things but other than that so pokemon go pretty h core back then but uh ignore that 50 bucks in that game and then uh, i've actually stopped playing now that since uh there's just no time once you dedicate yourself to one game holy smokes uh you don't really have enough time on the other guys but as you guys will see there that's zero dollars uh then we're going to go into purchase history for um well, you know i don't want to waste too much of your guys' time here but uh, we'll, we'll jump into 2019 and then we'll quickly run into 2020 just so you guys can see uh there is uh in fact uh you know i bought a icloud storage plan that was 399 and uh, as you guys will see, uh, Road to Hana, that was, you know, before COVID, we were traveling, so $8 there. But uh, yeah, no purchase packs or anything like that with Marvel Strike. And uh, yeah, we'll just finish off here. Whoops. Oh, hidden purchases. What is this about? Okay, I did not know there was an option for that. Uh, purchase history. And we'll just jump back into 2020, and then that's where we will leave you guys at. So hopefully uh, this will give you guys some proof that I'm not just uh, telling you guys I'm free to play. I am in fact 100% free to play with this game. Uh, just, uh, just kind of something I've started, and I just really haven't felt the need to. Uh, there has been those character packs that have been pretty, uh, pretty awesome. But uh, I've, uh, yeah, I've tried to, uh, you know, I've tried to be good, and I've tried to be patient, and uh, you know, I'm not sure if I'll ever will 
you know put money into the game uh, i used to uh, play this other game called uh, you guys if you guys are aware of marvel games uh it was the avengers alliance that was released back in 2013 it was a facebook game um you had like a commander and everything like that and uh yeah it was a ton of i put a ton of money into that game and then i realized you know what the next time i uh go into a marvel game i was not gonna do that so that's kind of what happened so that's why i am free to play anyhow that's enough of that so we'll take a look at my roster here and uh, as you guys will see here, uh, pretty, uh, you know, pretty straightforward with some of these heroes. Phoenix, uh, seven reds. I was able to actually upgrade her. I had her at four stars. Then I kept slowly upgrading her to five, six, and seven. And uh, actually what I'm doing right now too is I'll just quickly show you guys. If you go into my red star orbs, you'll see that I have 589 of those upgrades. And then I've got 91 of the gold ones too. And I'm just keeping them ready to go. Uh, when uh, you know when a really good character is available and uh, that's that's what I recommend all new players to do um, specifically the ones that you want to push in arena like sinister um, we've got invisible woman black bolt uh, these are some of my favorites in arena and that's why if you notice there most of them are five stars because I've either uh, been lucky with them by getting a pull on the uh, red orbs or i've i was fortunate enough to use some of those saved up uh, red star upgrade credits and that's why uh that's why i have them as high as i do ebony ma same thing uh colossus i upgraded as well um symbiote i upgraded uh just because of dark dimension 3 and now uh, with iso 8 you guys will see the little green um you know tabs there that you can upgrade so that's going to actually further enforce that but i haven't touched those because uh we're just waiting to see what testing and what other strategies other players are doing before i jump full swing into that but as you guys will see here uh, i'll just quickly um tear it off so you guys can see what am i doing here clicking the wrong category i'll do my uh, gear tier so you guys can see which ones i have at tier uh, 14 and uh, these are the ones I use for Dark Dimension 3. So Phoenix, pretty straightforward. I had her with uh, Colossus and uh, Mr. Sinister and then I actually had Shield Trooper as well. Don't level Shield Trooper. He's a waste of resources and he he's pretty much worse than Greg uh, and if you guys don't know who Greg is, he's you know the minion that Hela summons but pretty much just a placekeeper. I was rushing into Dark, Dark Dimension 3 and I didn't need to uh, so that was a waste of resources from my part. So don't do that. And uh, and then I've got uh, you know I've got uh, who else do I have? Uh, for global, I believe it was uh, Emma Frost. I believe. Let me just let me just make sure here. Uh, so that way you guys know. So Emma Frost. Uh, oh, yeah, Ultron. That's who I was missing. Okay. So that's anyways. That's uh, that's my um, that was my global roster. And then. Uh, yeah, and then for, you know, for uh, for the next Cosmic Batch, I had Hela, and then I had Minerva, uh, Loki, and then I added Ebony Mon to that mix as well here, and uh, uh, Hela and uh, Loki are just like, you know, they're just awesome because they invis each other, and then it feeds Minerva's train, so that was a pretty good combo there, and then Symbiote uh, for the last batch of City Notes or Dark Dimension 3, so I think that was Carnage, uh, SSM, Spider-Man, uh, Punisher, Vulture, um, and actually just recently I got him unlocked a six star, so that was pretty awesome. And uh, and uh, who else was there? There was a fifth member. Uh, it was oh Ghost Rider. So yeah, there you guys have it. So that that was my lineup there, and uh, I'll just jump into Dark Dimension Three so you guys can have a look here. But I'm actually just finishing up the timed run right now, uh, so it's taking a bit of time. But uh, let's see here, we're on attack four. So that's my lineup there that you guys can see that I've been using. And I should have just did that, to be honest with you guys, instead of trying to read off, you know, my characters off my roster. But anyways, that's uh, that's those are my characters for Dark Dimension Three, and uh, basically save your resources. Once you get that completed, you can, you should start saving up for Dark Dimension Four. I haven't taken anybody else into fourteen just because uh, we're waiting to see what happens with Dark Dimension Four and the Tier Fifteen. So save your resources, save your mats. Other than that, I've tried to make most characters Tier Twelve. But anyways. I think that's, uh, we'll just go back to default there and uh, we'll just go uh, I'll talk about my roster and uh, what I'm working on right now. So as you guys will see here, some of the big hitters, Ebony Ma, Captain Marvel, she's right now, you can farm her in the nodes as well, thanks to that Doom's presence or dominance or whatever it's called. Uh, Hela, Carnage, uh, those guys are all tier 
14, like I said. Emma Frost was the newest addition. Uh, we hopefully her milestone comes back. I was able to four star her, four star, four star her, and then I was able to get a five star with the upgrade thanks to that promotion. There was a screw up, and they gave out some free red star orbs, and I was I wasn't gonna miss out on that, so that was pretty awesome. And now with Avengers, I'm trying to get them back up since uh, they did get that rework. So Black Widow, thank goodness, I actually had her T4 since she did used to be a meta. And as you guys will see there, I also have her a T12. Haven't pushed it or 13 because again, I'm being cautious about uh, Dark Dimension 4 and just trying to make sure I manage those resources carefully. Um, then other characters, Guardians, uh, I feel like these guys do need some love. But as you guys will see here, as I go down the roster, you'll see that most characters, if I'm using them in war or in blitzing, most of them are around 70 or 75 or 71 or something like that. You always want to push your characters up to 71 because it increases their resistance, gives them that extra little umph as well, and then it helps resist uh, because most people will cap out their characters at 70 typically. And uh, like right now, I, most of my characters are 70, so when they're up against level character, level 71 characters, it gives them that little edge over the level 70 characters. So make sure you're doing that. And it's a good value too. I think it costs like, uh, what is it? Like 380 K for one level. And it gives a pretty nice jump in stats. Uh, I can, I can actually do one actually for an example, maybe, uh, who do I want to bring up? Um, yeah, let's bring up Blob actually. I want to bring him up to this. Uh, Blob's really good with my BH teams and, uh, he helps with a lot of that resistance. So let's bring him up to 71, but you guys will see a pretty, uh, pretty nice jump in the stats. Uh, for uh, for what you get and uh, I mean look at that focus and resistance look at that jumps up like you know lot yeah the attack and the health you know it's not that big of a jump but if you look at the focus and the resistance that's where you want to focus on and pushing them to 71 uh, that's why a lot of players do it and I'm trying to get everybody up to 60 and 70 and then 71 so that's my typical strategy so that's why you guys will see a lot of my characters being 70 America Chavez, got Inhumans, got Hulk there. I want to bring him up to 71 as well because it gives him that extra umph with resistance. Uh, trying to get um, some of the other guys that are lower. Uh, see, I could bring this guy up to 70, but first I got him capped at 65 because I think right now my goal is 60, 60, 60, and then bring them all up to 65, and then 70, and then 71. That's my typical strategy. I, I don't know what anybody else is doing, but that's what I've been doing, and it's been a pretty slow process. And I'm just scrolling down here. If you guys need to freeze the video so you can take a closer look at the roster, by all means, uh, that's why I'm kind of slowly scrolling down here. Um, Bullseye, again, he's 65. Want to bring him up to 72, or at uh, 70 as well. Uh, Gamora, we've got Rhino there. See, he's 60. Um, I Oh, I haven't leveled him up because um, there's just no need right now. I don't have a place for him. Uh, we've got our Sinister Six with Oct, Dr. Oct. And uh, I just haven't slotted him in. There's, there's no point. If you level Doc Ock up, you're gonna you're gonna get a Rhino Summon probably stronger than the one I've currently got. So I've left him at 60. Mantis, oh, see she's 64. I can probably bring her up to 65 right now. We do have some gold extra for spending, but yeah. So just trying to bring everybody up to 60 first, then 65, and then 70 and 71. So that's what I'm trying to do. Um, I know that some of my other client clan mates, like they've just they've just like they've made everybody like they go for 50s and then 55 and then 60s so you know you can do whatever you want it's a good strategy looks like i'm missing a koye and baku there that's fine and then yeah you guys will see here kind of lower in the roster list there's is quite a bit more 60s i need to work on there and uh, i think the only ones i don't have at 60 are the absolute pieces of ugh, the you know the characters that are just complete stragglers that have no uh, benefit right now in any team so i mean we're talking about the ravagers um, looking at Stitcher, looking looking at Boomer, um, and then obviously we got Electro uh, up to four stars now uh, thanks to that Blitz. But uh, I've only got her at 63. Got to work on her as well. And uh, Beast haven't really leveled him either because I have nowhere to put him. So that's kind of my thought process right now. But I'll slowly work through that and then get him up to 65, 70, and all that good stuff. Three new characters you guys are already aware, right? Uh, Scream. We just got a nice red star unlock on her. Uh, and then obviously we got anti banning coming. Um, they haven't really mentioned how he's gonna be unlocked, but looking forward to that. And then obviously She Hulk, which I find is quite. I'm I'm a bit I'm a bit on the boundaries with her. I'm not sure how it's gonna work out since they're turning the Fantastic Four, which is an amazing offense team, into a defense team. So I don't know how that's gonna play out, but uh, we'll see when that bridge crumbs. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's my roster. Uh, Arena, how am I doing in Arena? I'm in rank 40 right now. I think most of the teams I'm up against. 
are usually pretty uh, pretty insane. Um, it's just black order over black order. I've come up with this particular counter. They're pretty good. Uh, I think you know I had Ebony Ma instead of uh, instead of Emma uh, initially, and it was working out just fine. But now because she creates that awesome debuff removal and the blinds, it's actually pretty awesome. So we'll just we'll just do a little fight here just so I can show you guys uh, show you guys my bracket. But uh, yeah, usually uh, you know I want to attack a call, take that taunt off, so that way we got a clear shot on Ebony Ma. Um, and where it really shines with this team is obviously Mr. Sinister. Um, he is just going to clone and uh, he's going to give me a pretty beefy Ebony Maw. Uh, I've got a 7 star Sinister. I've been working like crazy in the war store to get him up to 7 stars. We're going to taunt with Colossus, give us the deflect and then that gives us a bit of cushion as well. you got to have Colossus in this team because he basically forms a huge meat shield. And uh, if you guys know anything about... Uh, the Thanos Black Order teams, uh, their debuff removal isn't that great. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to get the blind on Ebony Maw, so that sucks. Usually, we get a blind and then he ults. Right now, this would miss, so then it wouldn't give, uh, it wouldn't reduce our speed meter. But unfortunately, he was, uh, he uh, he had immunity there, so that's fine. Um, as this team too it does, I don't feel like it has any of the. I didn't even check really if they had any of the extra ISO8s, but we're just gonna kill Ebony there. This should hopefully. Finish him. Okay, I was hoping that would finish him off. Guess not. Kind of sucks. Uh, holy magic. Yeah, I, 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 I uh, do see that they do have the um, those tags from the ISO8s. So that I kind of just ate my words there. And I think I might just get my butt kicked here, depending on. Uh, oh crap. Yeah, we'll see what happens here. We're just gonna we're gonna just get some invis, get some health back to those guys, and hopefully have. Oh, oh, perfect. So that's what I was hoping for. Um, Emma Frost is also really good because she does that that buff removal, and it just gives us a nice cushion. We're gonna take out the guys that don't really, um, they don't really, uh, you know, it doesn't really help uh, uh, Obsidian out. So that way we can target them, and he doesn't hit back. But uh, that sucks. We took out, uh, they took out Black Bolt, but that's fine. We're gonna do the uh, special there, and uh, from that point on, we can basically just auto hit. So that's pretty much been the team I've been using. I was using originally Ebony Ma, and he works too if you don't have Emma Frost. But again, the saving grace here is the fact that I've a lot of these characters that I'm using in my roster right now. Um, here, I'll just go to set defense. I've, I've, you know, I've tweaked them up and I've made them so strong by saving my red star orbs like sinister seven five uh phoenix she was four reds uh and she was still pretty good in that arena shard but i kept bringing her up i kept bringing her up five star six star seven star so she was the first one i brought up to seven and then uh, we've got uh, invis women as well i brought her up to five and then i kind of slaughtered her out uh, with emma frost coming into the game uh, we've got her only at four stars but i'd say she still packs a pretty heavy punch uh, with just with her abilities and her skill sets so that's pretty nice but as you guys will see there i usually stick around uh yes i am free to play as you guys already saw but i usually stick within that 50 top 50 range and it's nice because then um staying in that top 50 will give us those extra 200 cores um, i don't know if it's worth it to push into the top 20 and get that extra 50. i haven't I've, I've found that it is quite stressful to do that but and some days i do luck out and i do end up getting up there so that's kind of nice and uh, it ends up working well so uh, you guys will see that I, I also have a ton of power cores saved up because uh, we are going to be uh, we're going to be uh, saving for that uh, scream event that is coming. And uh, right now we're doing Ultimus 7 difficulty 4. Um, we can usually hit about 60 percent. We just got through there. And then obviously I think everybody knows about these raids. Oh, I should maybe do this one. We'll just yeah, we'll just quickly jump into it. Uh, do we have Phoenix? Nope. Nope. We'll just quickly jump in and auto here. But as you guys will see, that's, yeah, difficulty four on the Ultima 7. And then uh, when they add difficulty in for the Gamma Alpha Beta Raids, uh, that'll be nice as well here. And uh, we'll just basically fast track these uh, and speed this up. And hopefully the auto just wins. Usually it's pretty straightforward. I think everybody's just auto smashing these raids because, yeah, it's just, oh, maybe I should have controlled who actually was cloning. But whatever, that's fine. Uh, it won't take us too long to uh, douse these guys out. But yeah, hopefully you guys can have a look there. We talked about my roster uh, a little bit on the uh, Dark Dimension characters that I'm using. And uh, there are better, you know, don't get me wrong, the ones that I'm using are, uh, they aren't the, uh, you know, they're not the best of the best. But I would say they're, they're, they'll get the job done. And uh, like Dark Dimension 1, Dark Dimension 3 really is, 
it's all about the materials. It's not really, you know, it gives you a five star unlock on the Ultimus, but it's not really like game changing like the way you get Ultron on Dark Dimension 2. So it's definitely, uh, you know, definitely helps for sure. It'll probably be more important once Dark Dimension 4 comes out and uh, it'll be a more emphasis on the materials to bring characters up to tier 15. But right now, uh, if you don't want to push it, you know, if you don't want to do Dark Dimension 3 or, or if you feel like you have to get into Dark Dimension 3 and get characters up to tier 14, it's probably not needed. Um, and that's per my personal experiences. I know a lot of players right now, they're just coasting and they're happy just getting Ultron in Dark Dimension 2. And that's, you know, that's pretty much it. Uh, but yeah, that's it. So let's see here. We've got uh, we've got Doom's influence for 90 days, and then yeah, like I said, we've got the uh, the parasitic intentions, uh, and then it's gonna require metamorphosis characters. So make sure you guys make sure you guys are saving your power cores and doing the refreshes when they come. But yeah, it looks like it's gonna be probably a symbiote based team with Carnage, uh, Spidey, and then we've got uh, Venom down there, and then probably I don't know, probably Taskmaster for more blinds, and then maybe maybe Sinister or something like that. It'll be fun for sure, and uh, I think that's I think that's all I got, guys. That's all I got. If you guys have any feedback or any comments or anything like that, but just wanted to give you guys an idea of what a 1,019 uh, day player looks like. It'll be 1,020, but we're just gonna stick with the 1,020 uh, for the you know sake of simplicity. But anyhow, guys, uh, thank you for watching, guys, and uh, as always, guys, uh, stay safe and uh, happy gaming.